Lotus's first brand new series production model in more than a decade is a stunning mid-engined, two-seat sports coupe with supercar aping looks, a high-quality interior and the option of four-cylinder turbo power supplied by Mercedes-AMG. The Amira, pronounced Amira, will eventually be priced from £59,995 and is pitched at what Lotus believes to be a gap in the market below higher performance versions of the Porsche 718 Cayman. It will go on sale in all key global markets next spring, initially powered by the Toyota Source supercharged 3.5-litre V6 from the outgoing Exige and Evora, before the 2.0-litre AMG unit follows in the autumn. The first version on sale will be the limited-run first edition, which brings the V6 engine and a choice of manual or automatic gearboxes for £75,995. Bespoke first edition touches include a set of two-tone 20 inches alloy wheels, branded brake calipers, a tire pressure monitoring system, black contrasting lower trim and 12-way adjustable heated seats. Buyers can choose from six exterior and seven interior colors, while the standard fit design pack brings privacy glass, a black Alcantara headliner and sports pedals. The first edition is also equipped with the driver's pack which offers the choice of tour or sport suspension and can be specified with either Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport or Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. The Amira will be Hethel's final non-electrified car. It follows the limited-run Avija electric hypercar in this promising new era for Lotus under the majority ownership of Geely, which is funding not only new cars but also new facilities and manufacturing processes with the aim of products being built to a higher and more consistent quality. Underpinning the Amira is Lotus's new sports car architecture, which was developed using the extruded and bonded aluminium chassis technology first used by Lotus on the Elise of 1996. The car is 4,412mm long, 1985mm wide and 1,225mm high, with a wheelbase of 2,575mm, making it just a fraction larger than the Evora. While the architecture is nominally a development of that older cars, only the wheelbase remains the same. The tracks have been widened, larger 20 inches wheels can be fitted and the Amira has dramatically different proportions to the Evora. The first deliveries will be special, higher spec launch edition cars using the Toyota V6, which will be offered with a manual or automatic gearbox. The AMG 4Pod, which became available through a new technical partnership between Lotus and AMG, born of Geely stakeholding in AMG parent firm Daimler, has been given its own tune for Lotus, along with a bespoke air intake and exhaust. It will come exclusively with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. Both versions of the Amira have their engines mounted transversely and powering the rear axle alone. Lotus hasn't yet confirmed final performance figures for either version of the Amira, rather that there will be a range of outputs between 355 brake horsepower and 395 brake horsepower, alongside maximum torque of up to 317 pounds foot. The 0 to 62 miles per hour time will be less than 4.5 seconds and the car will be able to reach a top speed of more than 180 miles per hour. CO2 emissions, meanwhile, will officially be below 180 g kilometer. In terms of design, the Amira takes heavy influence from the new Avija, sitting low and wide with prominent intakes, short overhangs and bulky haunches among its defining characteristics. Styled by Lotus design boss Russell Carr, the Amira has been made more usable and fitted with more technology than any Lotus before it. That modernization push extends most obviously to LED lighting at the front and rear and, on the inside, a 10.25 inches touchscreen for an infotainment system that includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, along with a 12.3 inches digital driver's information display. The interior is completely unrelated to that of any previous Lotus. It is not only easier to get in and out of but also more spacious in its feel, ingress, egress and headroom are claimed to match the class leader, trimmed in higher quality materials and fitted with an array of clever tech and storage integrations. These include twin central cup holders and extra storage in larger door bins. There's a 208-litre cargo hold behind the seats and 151 litres of space in a boot behind the engine. 
significant increase in convenience features brings a multifunction steering wheel, a 10-channel premium sound system from KEF, 4-way electrically adjustable seats as standard, 12-way adjustable sports seats are optional, keyless ignition, cruise control, rain-sensing wipers, electrically folding wing mirrors, rear parking sensors, optional front parking sensors and an automatically dimming rearview mirror. Despite all the new tech and richer materials, some classic Lotus features, such as a semi-exposed gear linkage on manual cars, are retained. Adaptive cruise control, an anti-collision system, fatigue alert, road sign detection, a speed limiter, lane departure warning, rear cross-traffic alert and lane changing assistance all feature as part of the ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, suite. This is made possible by a new electrical architecture taken from Geely but adapted to Lotus's needs. All these advancements in making a more usable everyday Lotus don't come at the expense of the driving performance, Lotus insists. The Amira uses double, wishbone suspension all round and retains hydraulic, rather than electric, steering, which will delight Lotus purists. Two chassis settings will be offered, the standard Tour, which allows a softer ride, and the stiffer Sport, which will be offered with an optional Lotus driver's pack. This includes launch control and Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires in place of the standard Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersport rubber. The Amira doesn't feature any active aerodynamics but instead produces balanced downforce between the front and rear that provides more grip in corners while retaining precise, predictable handling.